anyways i actually came up here um a little earlier and saw that the games that i need to watch is on the fourth page um and this is the fabled game these two games right here no no these two games um it's the game that we played against um selen selen and lazuli which was pretty fucking hard we actually got them both to one stock on this one however on this one we got very bad badly beat i don't know i went with the apocalypse because i was playing queen eye and downlight neutral sig would be a very early ko option uh it kind of worked out for a few ko's we're gonna see that soon however um they no however even though we lost may was like I i'm not feeling um apocalypse which we should change and then we went to mammoth and it didn't work at all um mammoth can be very standard but it can be very double-edged as well which is the first game though yeah it's this one okay we went to apocalypse a lot whenever we had the chance we went to apocalypse uh and this is what we're gonna be doing for the the first half of this dream uh may is gonna come up later she wants to, to press some buttons mm. let's start since there's people here already i might as well start okay first game was pretty straightforward i don't remember it very well we did get a lot of like stronger players on this this time around it was not easy at all oh exotic is lurking already okay have a good lurk uh, exotic hello we love good night bro i know i've been missing a lot i i'm gonna explain it later when everyone is around but for now, let's just watch the, the mess unfold. By the way, um, you, you guys are probably gonna ask why the fuck was I playing Nai? Uh, the reason is that um, Nai is a very double-edged sword. Especially in twos. In twos, if you, you can go to four speed and still be decent. So Nai is a great pick for twos. <laughs> Use the can? Sure, don't worry, Exotic. You, you're fine, bro. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> can. It's funny. Um, Knight can be a very double-edged sword. Hmm. Her only weakness is her speed. That's literally her only weakness. And if you can play around that weakness, you easily, easily can outperform anyone. Because she has amazing SIGs, she has amazing setups. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for being here. Um, she has amazing SIGs, she has amazing setups. Um, she has Spear, which is a great um, synergy with Baraza. And the Qatars are, are pretty, like, they stand out from other Qatars. Because Qatars generally are very fast paced and you need to do a lot of hits for, for you to be build up damage. But Queen Eye's Qatars are a little different. So they work even better for doubles. Because, I don't know, a neutral light from Axe, pass over, you just use neutral Sig. Neutral Sig, if you connect every single hit point, of, it does like almost 40 damage. We can actually look at it later to see the exact numbers. However, let's get to the, 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 the point. Me and May actually got into the the idea that I should probably stay back and and take the the, the furthest weapon because she has more speed than I do. This first match, I was not warmed up at all. I was feeling kind of whack, and it took me a while to to get into the rhythm. However, as a good support player, I was just trying my best not to to do anything. However, you can see here that brain was trying to exploit my lack of speed i tried approaching once right here i tried ap approaching once and it didn't work out because brain was being very very defensive this side air was actually for jala but she literally fell under the platform so it didn't work out and then i got punished and I, then i was like you know what i'm not gonna go there with you you can just have that space me and may play enough together to to know each other's boundaries so i'm like i'm gonna help her with um jala and just pace brin out i chase her a little bit and back to the to to the thing this right here is one of the strengths of of queen eye i down light into um neutral stick is very powerful punish may actually got the recovery and almost ko'd which is amazing 
and now right now we were feeling it because um Bryn was literally playing the most defensive she could so my idea was just trying to punish and playing with may focus um the weaker defense character and just have a great time right here is a, basically a nice uh, weakness appearing she's so slow so i had to use every single option to get back and then a down stick is enough nice neutral light by me down save just like that it's so powerful you cover both areas you cover stacked you cover up you cover down you just get off me may with the ground pound for the cleanup and now we have a, a, a little bit of a lead <clears throat> I grabbed the Katars for damage building, got a, a good read on, on Jala. However, this is the weakness. Right now, I remember explicitly on the on the match being like, man, I need to help me. However, I'm stuck on this side. It's You can see that I'm just sluggishly going to the other side, like, Jesus Christ, this is obnoxiously slow. But I did get there, I did um, um, stun enough for me to come back to the stage. Ooh, side sick to the face. We do have a little bit of a damage lead, but I'm trying to just to avoid any engagement at all. May with a good punish. I don't know. What is this? What is this neutral sig? I don't know what the neutral sig is. I can't really tell you. <laughs> Okay, now Bryn is a little less defensive. Um, this is my mistake, actually, because I wanted to stare um, Jala, but she just was not in my range. Badly spaced. Nice punish by May. And that's... This is this right here is where I think we shine a lot more in doubles. Because I can approach easily on, on Bryn. She has a lot more speed than I do. So I, I'm just trying to avoid Bryn as much as I can and play with Mei. Um, this neutral light sadly gets Mei on the second hit. But as soon as Bryn tries to punish me, I go towards her. And then I try going back to helping Mei. However, our synergy, she just knows that I'm, I'm struggling with her speed and just came here around with the awesome punish. Another beautiful cleanup, just neutral light. And I turned around to, I could have like downlighted into neutral sig, but first of all, I'm a knight. I don't need to care about that. I'm pretty sure it's gonna KO. And other than that, if I side sig towards Bryn's side, I can guarantee 100% that Bryn cannot cancel me during that, because it's a hitbox on her way. So side sig, perfect. <laughs> this was a very improvised attempt, but it is pretty good. Good damage. Um, how far was this from connecting? Because I actually want to see this. Oh, man. Just a few pixels away. Look at that. It's like almost one pixel away. That's actually pretty sad. That would have been cool. Um, uh, with the extra damage and all. However, enough. We, we got the, the a little bit of damage. However, Axe is great at getting stage control. And nice speed again here. I You can see that I jump away, or rather I uh, go away, but it's not fast enough. It's not ne even nearly fast enough to get me out of the way. Now May is trying to just not get sandwiched and not take damage. Right here, it's one of those, those specific cases where I think it's not that great. Because you do deal less damage to your partners in doubles. You do 75% of damage to your partners and you do full damage to your enemies. And in this case, um, Bryn got both Jala and um, Baraza on the on the thing. However, we're talking about um, four to seven defense. I think Jala was actually going three defense. I can't remember correctly, but I think she was going three. So that's even worse. That's four um, levels of defense difference. So in this occasion, I think Bryn should not have kept going because she's dealing more damage to Jala than to Baraza. Um, where's that damage? Yeah, show damage. Um, okay, I wanna stop at the, the damage bags. 
you can see that she's dealing 19 to to jala and 16 to baraza so yeah i don't think it's a it's a great thing out here just saying that's my my honest opinion okay let me turn off damage again nice recovery nice stuff oh hello aces yeah i i was going to go nine like 19 i always start at seven however i started a little earlier just to fix um a few things and everyone was here already like um i haven't even started then seahawks was here already exotic right after willow is here um chris is here so yeah i was like might as well start but don't worry this is the first game we didn't make like many mistakes so i don't think there's much to learn from here um but yeah thank you for for showing up oasis already too but yeah, you can see right here that i i am um, i beat jala recovery normal string instead of following her to get the ko i go to help may with the with her situation to, so she can go back to stage brin um kind of gave her the the stage control i think she was spacing the side air however i thought brin was going to attack me so i um spot dodged with the momentum still and then i i was like okay so may is already back into the stage i don't need to do anything else might as well just go back to facing jala which is what i did and right here is where um literally the the power of queen nai shows look at this you guys seen this that ko she is like in not even deep orange and just one touch of the neutral sig is enough to ko that's absurd i love queen nai because of that and right there we're on 2v1 now I don't know why she didn't go for the air, but it's okay. Oh, she! I, right now, I remember I thought maybe if she gone for the air, this would have been a KO too, uh, because she punished the, with the the side light. If she went for the air, you can see that I'm already ready for the for the recovery. But yeah, she went for the side air, which, which would have KO'd as well. It's okay. Um, this almost connected. I'm sad that he actually didn't. Oh, again, this is the second time, like, a few pixels away from, uh, from being awesome. <laughs> Happens, though. It's okay. Now, just gotta clean this up. Down sig, and there we go. That's the first match. Pretty straightforward. Nothing here. Uh, oh, Oasis, you drive. That's so cool. <laughs> I told you, I cannot drive because of my eyes. My eyes suck, but other than that, I'm actually pretty hyped for that. Anyways, uh, second game. That was the first match against, against this team, but it's a best of three, so here's the second match. Uh, the second match, I think we we just fell in the comfort, comfort zones. We were, were already warmed up, so I think it, it just flown a lot better. That was nothing very glaring I, at least i don't remember it look at this uh already we were just passing people to each other however um smartly jala canceled me <laughs> she actually bit her partner a little bit this is one thing that i learned playing queen eye lately is that you can safely use the down sig when you're near your partner because of this angle it's so cool you basically protect your partner for any uh, anything that's coming to attacking them and right after that they can um, protect you for your crop reprints it's amazing okay that's a bad neutral sig i mean it's not a big mistake but still like i tunneled vision towards getting the neutral sig here it's my bad I, again just passing to each other just playing together I don't know why um, Brin didn't do anything here. Because it was a very slow pass up. Like, 
she just dodged in place. I think it was a panic reaction. <laughs> oh, a wake up with the cider. May and um, Brand doing axe stuff there. This is actually one thing that uh, me and May actually got in the rhythm too as well, so I'm gonna mention it. Is that um, whenever she gets like a, a punish like this, a slow punish that you generally wanna follow up, like uh, you generally wanna follow up a new a X neutral light, especially because Rin is, is still out of commission, you would want to follow this up. However, instantly I was like, man, I'm a, I'm a Queen Eye. If I jump into the uh, weapon toss, um, Maybe I can hit you can see that I'm going for the weapon toss, but then I just kind of went for the not um, Weapon toss towards the opponent because I was like May can deal with this. She can protect. I just have to 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 take care of um, Of Brynn so she doesn't um, take any stage control from us. So I was like, yeah, whatever I'm going I'm back to Brynn and leave um Jala to me. It might not be the best idea, but it was the 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 choice that I had to make at the moment. I was like, I don't want to toss the weapon. I don't want to grow. Oh, what's up, Snowy? How you doing? We're still on the second match. This is not where the 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 plot thickens yet. But thank you for showing up already, bro. Mm. But yeah, uh, it might not be the best choice right here. I could have tossed the weapon towards um, Jala, but I in my mind I was like. If May wants to go out there and and punish the the re recovery for, from Jala, I don't want to stuff her face with a weapon toss. So I just like toss this side, grab the weapon, protect May against Brynn. That was my thought process here. Might not be the best, but still, it's a thought process. Kind of lazy of me. At the same time, that I think it's okay because I could have um, stuffed, just gone back and stuffed. Brin here, but I tried going for the cheeky weapon toss to maybe KO Jala And it kind of worked because she used her dodge and may got the KO Trying to sandwich Brin now Raid egg soup? I don't remember that Right now I remember right here. This is one uh, one stuff one thing that I, I really need to work on I got the side light on Brin. I was like um, I don't want to commit to the downlight because if she dodged in I could have gone for another side light But I was like uh, no, I'm gonna dash and maybe side light to the other side. However, may Got me with the neutral light just uh, missing put probably You can see that I was trying to move a lot more than I generally would because of my sluggish nature as a queen knight Oh, that was almost a kill <laughs> reaction times <laughs> inhuman reactions <laughs> I started reacting to the side sig when Brin was already over my head <laughs> that's fucking hilarious <laughs> nice neutral sig on the cleanup came to help me this is amazing. I love this. This is why you practice so much on doubles. You can see that here I neutralize. May can do something here. She could have nared um, Jala, but she was like, no. She just waited. This is amazing. This is one thing that I love about doubles is that when you place with someone for enough time, you're just like, um, you learn when to not attack. You don't need to learn when to be attacking. You learn when to not attack. That's pretty fun. She just waited patiently. Just covered that area. <clears throat> and the ground pound. Okay. Ooh, I was just... Yeah, this is one thing I do a lot with Queen Eye. I, just, I don't risk myself. I just stand here, wait for some punish. Couldn't find it. Weapon toss. Just another alley-oop. I don't want to commit to anything. Side sig. Ooh, almost nared. Ooh, and right here. Stripey! How you doing, Stripey? Everyone is here today, man. You guys are awesome. I was like kind of feeling kind of bummed out because I was like, man, I, I haven't streamed for a whole week. People are not going to be, be here when I come back. And here you are. You guys are amazing. 
But yeah, just cover her options. May was actually trying to cover the other option. You can see that she turns around to maybe cover the, the upper right area for, for Brin's recovery. I just kind of stuffed her face and KO'd her. But it's okay. We're like four stock lead now. Actually, it took a, time, uh, a while for us to, to get the stock. I think we were playing very safe. Like, just, you see, I'm playing the support here. That's pretty fun. That's so much fun. <laughs> Just play safe. Don't risk up too much. Another neutral light. I didn't want to neutral sig. Oh, she wanted me to go for the side air. I don't go for the side air on, on Queen Eye too much because it's a little wonky. Because she has low dex and low speed. So the jump air feels lag. It feels it feel like a slug. So I miss it too much. However, that was the first match. Um... The first match of the bracket, we got 2 0. And then now the things instantly got bad. Because I remember we were in the lobby just chatting about. And May was like, um, I don't know, I'm saying, I don't know what's happening, blah, blah, blah. Man, we're going to play against um, Selen and Lazuli. I was instantly like, Jesus Christ, we're fucked. Instantly I was like that. Because <laughs> it's actually pretty hilarious. Because I didn't expect that. I didn't expect us to get someone so so name dropping right out of the gate and this is the match i mean as i told it in, in like the first segment we did pretty well against elena lazuli in this first match i think yeah i think we there were left with um one stock each and the second match we got pounded or was it the other way around i don't remember mm. Anywho, anyhow, let's see how that de developed. I was already pounding my heart. I remember when uh, when the match started, it was like, I over my brain was like, we already lost. It's no, There's no way we're going to fucking beat like uh, Power Rank 8 or whatever. Uh, so I'm like, dude, if you're going to beat us, if you're going to knock us, get us knocked right now, at least win the goddamn tournament. <laughs> Yeah, just more stage knowledge already. Just great hammer play by Terros here. Getting early damage like that on a Queen Eye. Let me see if I find any glaring. First of all, I was panicking with the with the the spacing because Val is a lot faster than than Queen I. In this occasion, she would just jump into there, just neutralize it out of panic, just pure panic. That's why in the next, ooh, that was scary. Um, that's why in the next um, matches, I changed a little bit to, to Brin when I felt like Knight was not cutting it. Right here was pretty interesting because um, I neutralized it. May went for the neutral light as well. However, as soon as I saw that um, Selen was probably gonna punish me, and I'm already in red, a side sig would have KO'd me. I instead went for the the reverse side sig to stuff that. I did stuff that, but that meant that I got hit by the second hit from the axe attack. But I still agree with this option because you can see that she's already going for that. You're dead, and I was like, just no. Still, I think it was a good decision by me. However, Taro's not doing Taro stuff. May was play pretty well on this one. Just trying not to get stuff, just doing next stuff. Nice, Alio. Perfect. This is this is what I'm talking about. Taro's is in orange. One neutral one neutral sig and he's dead. It's so good. That's why I, I love playing Queen Knight. Nice attempt at stuffing. We got the, the stock. We actually had the lead right now. And I think right now my brain was like, dude, we fucking have a lead on Saturn and Lazuli. What the fuck is going on? However, the, the lead quickly dwindled. <laughs> right now, that right there. I don't know why it was taking so much damage. I, I guess it's just axe and arrows, because up until here, I was still in, in yellowish. Um, I went for the snare because I wanted to to follow up on May. However, she went for the recovery. So I just stopped there. It happens sometimes. However, I took one nair, 
and I'm already in orangish. And then one neutral sig, and now I'm in deep orange. And then the down sig just killed me and put me in deep orange, almost red. Right here, I should have just um, kept my calm because I, I stopped them with the, the weapon toss. I should have just went back to stage, give stage control so me and May can play together because both of them are, are off stage. I kind of just got greedy and wanted to to make a like maybe grab a, a panic jump from from Selen, but she she was nerves of steel, and then I just got recovered by her and then recovered by Taros. Which, for some reason, didn't touch her at any point, which is amazing. Like, that didn't connect to her. Look at that. That's one pixel away from stuffing her. What the fuck? Come on, game. Give me good hitboxes like this, too. And now I'm in the red. And because I'm in the red, <coughs> I am now a liability. Because May has to babysit me. So, it would be best if I just died already. Or just go full defensive mode it's already been hard fighting fighting space you can see they're going both on on may because they know that i can't be um in a risky position however just down safe from taros may just avoiding getting comboed a good pass up from them though this wake up though like this wake up Side air wake up. I need to be aware of that. The jump before there kept you too high for it to hit. If you kept momentum, you probably have hit if they don't dodge. Um, the jump before the dare. Oh, I see, I see. In the in the ledge, I see. Yeah, but you, I was in panic mode. So it's a great idea to that you're bringing this up, Stripey. However, I was panicking a lot because I was like, my brain had, I have both of them off stage. I need to do something. I just couldn't think. There's not enough time to think in those situations, which is why I think experience uh, brings that to the table. Great reversal by Selen here on, on May. Uh, whiffed the, the side air and also punished like without any options while returning to stage. It's amazing. Uh, movement work I was trying very hard to just survive at this point okay good punish on Taros nice punish by me just avoid engagement again this time uh, I was a little more confident however she was quick with the dodge here Okay, just disengage, brain. Just disengage. May clean it up while I was busy. Which is pretty good. Okay. The, I think we were a little asynchronous right here. Because she hit the... Or rather, I hit the Nair. Sent... Um, Sell enough stage. We should have um, turned around on Teros, both of us. Teros hit them with the Ser, but she may just disengage completely. I think we should have gone both on Teros here. Because I think this actually costs us stage control. And then she got, um, gr gets ground pounded, and I get cleaned up by Teros. Yeah, of course, I'm just always go, go, go if I hit spear weapon throw off stage, and I usually go for the egg drop, keeping momentum and completing disengage to go to stage. Yeah. It's just a hard, um, I think it was just a hard, um, not option, r rather a uh, hard decision to make. However, this game we did pretty well. You can see that we took both Selen and Lazuli to the last stock. Still, they had like two stocks of lead, but good enough, I guess. I mean, we were playing someone way above our league. And then the second game, I don't think we played that well because May didn't feel like, um, I think May's thought process was that Gauntless was doing a lot of work in in the small little lips. So she wanted bigger lips, so she went with Mammoth. Um, however, because of the size of Mammoth, I felt like um, I got outspaced by Selen the entire match. I could not land a blow on Selen, like the entire match, which was a little annoying. It happens though, it, 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 it's just more experience. Like good start, grab the weapon, 
try to to follow up something and then Salon just kind of uh ooh, that's an amazing combo on me right now with me on the middle uh, as well like i try i don't know how this nair didn't cancel her for some reason uh it yeah i'm gonna actually bring this to to the to the table i was pretty unlucky with hitboxes here because look at this i i nared to cancel her and like literally the the one frame later i got just nope hello ahmed welcome i'm having an amazing day thank you for showing up ahmed <clears throat> uh anyways yeah again my nares were not connecting so yeah they just comboed her and it was pretty pretty annoying now maze on a on a hard lip just sterile's neutral sig i think was a little over extension by may she wanted to go for the ground pound which would have hit and maybe could have like netted us a stock or maybe if a collision i don't know and i could have dared but just neutral sig Terra's neutral sig is pretty strong okay trying to find hits on Terra's should have maybe helped me uh, I was hesitant to do that because she was already very damaged. I thought maybe if I just could get some damage on the v 1v1 against Theros. I don't know. I, it was too much happening in my mind. And then I got pounded here. Good dodge. However, the down. Yeah, just great ledge guard by her. Trying to get the combo. Just great spacing. I don't know that neutral sig though. Okay, I did get. We did get a kill. Uh, I cl clashed with her for some reason. Taros, just being Taros. Yeah, she just Taros doesn't give a fuck. She actually missing put it there. Oh, this double down there was pretty cool though. And right now, it, it was just, I was just feeling that Selen was uh, outspacing my speed. You can see she was just like going for the neutral sig, and I can't do anything. I can't get out of the way. I think she goes for it again. At this point, we direly needed uh, some form of play. <laughs> the cider, man. I mean, it was kind of good because I think um, Teros would have dodged. So this is just like, just disengage. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty synchronous too. Couldn't do much. You see right here is what I'm talking about. Teros number one 2v2 pick changed my mind. I won't. I, I would only say that Brin is a, is a competitor for that place too. Um, I went for this neutral sig right now because I wanted to be like a... a a wall between the both of them while may fight so however it just didn't work out it just didn't accomplish anything i didn't get punished nobody punished nobody just weird and now you can see that um Salen is just sitting there waiting for for my speed to be my downfall trying to punish me nice neutral sig good damage Nice reverse on Taros and nice dodge away from from Silence Punish. This was a pretty good one. Just like punish Taros and get away. Pretty good. However, we were pretty damaged at this point. Yeah, side sig, then the ground pound. At this point, it was like, well, I am fucked. I think I actually did something pretty good against um, Silent, but I couldn't win against Lazuli later here on the wall just stuff it's pretty they're just very synchronous playing support i found what i could like just toss stuff ground pound and then the ground pound as a punish couldn't do much so yeah just uh, one thing about doubles uh it's just the thing about doubles if you're in a 2v1 situation you're gonna get punished for by a, a better player like i win I punished her mistake, however, Teros was already being a doofus and ground pounding my face. I did stuff her recovery and got the, the ground pound. However, there comes the punish and I can't do anything. Oh, it's okay, Ahmed. Don't don't feel like you're you should be stuck here. 
And that's how we got knocked into the lower bracket because um, Selena Lazuli gave us a bounty. Brynn is definitely a competitor. Her spear is nuts and all of her sigs are great, but Taros just kills early and Hammer Nair hits like the entire space. I would say that Brynn is better because um, if you go double Brynn, you literally have combos inputted into the weapons. You don't need to like make too much effort. It's like neutral light, side light, down light, uh, side air, uh, neutral sig. You literally have one person, or, or rather, a combo, a string that we, you would do with one person, but being made by two. I'm mad with that hedgehog reveal. God damn it, I'm mad. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Well, uh, by the way, welcome back, Seahawks. Gotta open up my words and... Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I need to grab my, my hedgehog. Let's get back, because um, Seahawks came back, and literally, I just literally finished revising both games against Salen and Lazuli. So, Seahawks, are you around? See you later, man. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna show you the match again. If you want, you can go back to my commentary over it. Um, but pretty quick. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let the match go. So you guys can watch it. Boa noite. Boa noite, Ahmed. Boa noite. But yeah, it was pretty tough, man. They were so good. You want to watch the dare again? Yeah, it's going to happen soon. Second stock, I think. This is, I'm pretty proud of the Aliu, man. Because this game, we actually played as equals to them. Like, very good. And the next one, we just got destroyed. Because we had this early lead right here. I was very panicky on this one. That down sick. That down sick right there was the, the turning point. The turning point of this match was this engagement. Which is my fault, of course. Because um, May got um, Selen on the, the down light. And I tried following up. It's just miscommunication. Like, misintentions. And from this, I took a Nair, a neutral sig, and then a down sig from Terros. And that put us on the back seat for a while. And that down air right there. Yeah, I could have done something beautiful, but I panicked. It happens. Still. Terros with the down sig again. And I'm gone. Yeah. There's a lot of improvement to be made here. They were just more experienced than, than, than us. Uh, our general style w wasn't working. Yeah, that's sad. Come on. Ugh, it's okay, man. It's fucking sad in Azuli. I can I can be proud to have lost to them. It's okay. But yeah, look at this. We took Salen and Azuli to their last stocks. I'm proud of that. Nobody can tell me that wasn't at least okay. But the second game, they pounded us how after that game um we did oh it's page four come on brain work um after getting pounded by them here these two games we went to the first game in lower brackets which was actually a 2-1 for us so there was a, some adaptations going around so yeah let's see what's happening on this one this first game was pretty straightforward for us because we were still on the on the on the energy from San and Lazuli. However, I think these guys are not as powerful. Even though they took a setup out of us, they are not as powerful as San and Lazuli by far. 
May just gimping. Pretty good gimp. Nice wake up by May, too. <laughs> nice punish. <laughs> just punishing me. Okay, I was getting a little too happy, trigger happy with the neutral sig right there. Happens. Nice neutral sig on me. <laughs> it happens though. Ooh, the reads though. That's the thing. I don't like Cassidy for doubles because of this. Um, I can re I can like respect the four speed nigh. However, Cassidy has either four defense or four speed, so she sucks either way. Don't get me wrong. She's pretty strong, but at the same time in doubles, I think she served her a lot. And now she was just trying to space me out. Okay, pretty standard, standard stuff. But you're gonna see that everyone has to play Brin at, at some point. There's so many Brins on tournaments. There's nothing standing out, just ne nice neutral sig. Nice ground pound. I don't wanna commit to anything and she just kinda yeeted herself. Uh, May just wasted her first stock to, to take um, her last, so it's okay. R right now, this is what I like doing the most, because May is a very aggressive player by nature, so I just kind of support her. You can see that she missed, Brin is going for the punish, and I'm just like, no, you stop right there, miss it. And back to my spacing. Yeah, but Axe being next. Ooh, that was a pretty good dodge. Oh, right now, I love when we do this. She's like, this sideline is literally perfection. Look at that. It's so good. Look at that sideline. Just perfectly spaced. Down there, okay. Just axe and nanigans. <laughs> May was always waiting for the side air. I don't go for side air on Queen Eye. It's too risky. You would have killed it here if I hit, but I don't know if I could have hit because of the speed. And that's just a cleanup. Because Brin did commit to, to gimping May. And then I just punished her. Pretty straightforward. This game was pretty straightforward. Right now, I think we got a little overconfident. Because the next match, we did get um, turn around. Yeah, we did lose this one. It's a pretty packed match, though. I don't think it was that far from us winning, too. I just print stuff. <laughs> Four neutral lights in the first it's six, the 30 seconds of the match. Only neutral light spirit game. Let's go. Hmm. It's just a spacing match, basically. What This is why I think I changed. Because I was trying to support May. I hate that uh, Brin skin, too. Uh, I, I think she just looks like, um, like Batman, but off brand. <laughs> Anyways, this is why I think I changed from Nye. Is because this Lucian literally didn't let me support May. He's just like up in my crib. I couldn't do anything. Just getting punished over and over because of their speed. So it wasn't working out for me. I, I felt like very weak after this match. Oh, nice side there. Pretty good. May with the coverage. Pretty good coverage. Lucian in doubles is pretty good uh, because of the, the SIGs. The neutral SIG on, on Katars is pretty good. Down SIG has a lot of stun. Side SIG is pretty good for team combos too. And blasters are always nice in doubles. Lucian is pretty solid in doubles. You can see, this is actually one thing that every single doubles team should learn. Because right now, I am in a, in a hard space. However, we have stage control since May just knocked Brynn away. She's going to help me. Brynn can't do anything about this. However, 
May could try to save me or she could just give me coverage. Look at this. She's just aggressing on Lucian, making sure that if I am going to die, Lucian is going to die too. This ground pound was just unfortunate, but look at this. Again, with the hitboxes. I don't know what was wrong with the hitboxes that day. However, this is like the fourth time this happens. Like the recovery just barely missing. And then the when the, the thing was coming around, Lucien was chasing, chase dodging. So yeah, hitboxes today was not were not on our sides. But anyways, that doesn't come to the thing. May just protected me. Now we can go back to stage. I I am now with my feet on the floor. Nice alley oop, just passing over. Pretty great. I can respect that. That almost KO'd. Out of wake up, just going for the side air. But again, hitboxes are not cooperating. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> what is happening? Why is like this is the fifth hitbox that is like a pixel away from hitting. May just controlling the stage with a might. How did we lose this again though? Because we did lose this. We have a, a pretty chunky lead. How did we lose this? May actually just gimp Rin and almost gimped Lucian. Okay, that's the cleanup. Nope. Okay, now clean stocks. Just how? I, I don't. I can't see how we lost this. I'm the next one to die. Nice side air. Oh, if that down sig. If this down sig connected, it would have been the game. I'm pretty sure about it. But again, hit boxes. Look at this. Ah, shit. I mean, it's oh, okay. There's no hitboxes on the, the spikes, so it's not even that close. It's just my brain coming up with excuses. Okay, while I was trying to recover to stage, it, Brin just got me in a in an axe thingy, my jigger. Right now, I just felt like Lucian was um, spacing me out. Yeah, this is just like, see what I mean? Blasters are always good in doubles. Okay, that ground pound was a little unnecessary. I just felt oh, uh, like spaced by both of them. I couldn't approach and they weren't approaching me. Okay, down sig got Brin. How did we lose this? Okay, so the cider got him. Hmm. Nice punish. We actually lost this. I mean, I am pretty damaged. Maybe I just got knocked out and may soon to follow. <clears throat> Okay, nice juggling. Oh, right here. This is the thing. I was like, I'm gonna dodge, but May actually stunned me with the with the axe and put me over the lip, so I would die to the down sig. Damn. Very well placed by Lucian, and and then it's just Qatar against Axe, which I I, I guess makes sense. It's pretty. It's a hard matchup for Axe. There we go, right there. The stuff recovery. Oh well. Okay, let's go to to game three then to see how did we fix that because i remember i think it changed now because i felt like um yeah i changed to brin because i felt like lucian was outspacing me on the on the thing Three, two, one. on the speed department i mean okay 
I felt very zoomies. I was very zoomies after that match. You can see that I, I feel like more comfortable. I generally don't play characters that slow. Zario is the is lowest character I play. Nice down there. Ooh. <laughs> Brin Six always give me a chill on my on my on my belly. This is one thing that I, I got from playing in twos with me. I got the sidelight. I knew I could have gone for a follow-up or a read. However, I was like, I don't want to risk it. I can just go with May since May is like unarmed. Maybe get some some follow-up on Lucian. However, I just kind of bailed for some reason. You can see that I, I thought about going and then I just bailed. And okay, I'm I'm attacking Brin again. <laughs> I don't know. That's a habit that I need to get over with. However, the three piece here because um, Brin was dodgeless. She used the GC here, so I just spaced it out and then. Pretty straightforward. Ooh. Okay, there's too much happening right now. I can't see what is happening because we're not playing together we're just kind of playing okay lucian kind of just sat there like a fly and took the recovery pretty good stun by may though to force the jump imagine if that was a true combo like knight yeah that would be overpowered because brin's neutral sig is overpowered in my opinion it, it kills very very early and it lasts it, it's unjumpable actually if someone doesn't have a a dodge they cannot jump out of it because it's two frames <gasps> oh right here is this just unfortunate because the first hit grabbed me and the second hit gra grabbed me pretty good by lucian we still have a lead though we don't have stage control they have an axe which is a problem just kind of just run for your life and try to find a weapon um lucian just sd'd for no reason <laughs> this is actually pretty funny brin was very 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 scared of getting team combo so just look at her she's like i'm gonna dash the whole map <laughs> uh, i didn't expect that Ooh, okay. I think Lucian is kind of getting um, a little too trigger happy because he got the down air. He could have just went for the read on Baraza. I don't know. He went for the ground pawn on me. I am on yellow. If he hit me, I would not be dead. But it did not hit me. It hit her, his partner, which is very bad. I think Lucian might be a very good singles player. He might not be that great of a doubles player. That might be what's happening here. <laughs> but yeah, I think it, it might be true, the thing that you said. After the SD, Lucian's mental must be broken a little. Because this is lowers already. So if you if you we lose, you're done. Yeah, that's just overextension by them. Somehow we actually lost our stocks here this is a mis miscommunication between me and may because lucian was charging the neutral sig i was like i should have probably gone for the the side sig however may is in the way so i didn't want to kill her too so i went for the neutral sig in case lucian jumped however may actually hit the haymaker so i'm so confused what happened there Okay, so he got the downlight recovery on me. I'm just pacing, trying not to get comboed. Excuse me, what is this hitbox? Are you guys seeing this? This hit me. This fucking thing hit me. Man, bring neutral sig needs a little bit of a... Uh, if you know what I mean. What is this? 
Jesus. Not only did it hit stack, it hit me with with me going a little bit behind. I don't think that SIG should hit like that. That SIG should be a little bit trimmed, if you ask my opinion on it. Just playing safe. Losing again with the down SIG, the Haymaker down SIG. That neutral SIG almost KO'd. Just play safe. <laughs> now we're just kind of struggling to KO Lucian because of the, the high speed in the fence. But there we go. The side air does it. I personally don't think that the Brin's neutral six should hit stacked. It's literally like rising above. It should have like a hitbox starting on the on the on the front. It should grab on the front, but it grabs the ground version. Someone lifting an axe doesn't have any force. I don't know, man. I just think it's too too much. That's maybe a reason why Brin is so powerful in doubles too. That sig is pretty good. Anyways, then we got to the the last few matches, the last three matches. <clears throat> and I, I straight went into Brin. Wait, where the fuck is Ozeke? <laughs> Brin benches 66, 150. I don't know how many that is in kilos. Um, real quick, what the fuck? Where is Ozeke? Oh, Iki is Ozeke. Actually, that's the thing. This Brin is actually one person that me and May always get in friendlies to. Um, he always play with Striker, so it's Striker and Ozeke. And May was like, you should go straight to the Brin. Right? Was it here? I don't remember. Where's Ozeke, man? I'm all over the place. One of the people that we fought was Ozik, which is someone we already had a lot of experience against. Anyways, let's go to the match instead of just plowing around. <clears throat> Why did it take so long to start? Hmm. Again, we had a lead, but we somehow lost it. I don't know, man. I think we were kind of getting nervous. Barraza was playing pretty good on this match. I can't say that he wasn't. Barraza was playing very, very good Brawlhalla. Just solid. That Nair from May literally saved my butt. Because um, they got the sunlight. A side air would probably not have killed me. But May just hit everyone. Just like, just break it up, everybody. Reset neutral. I got a very early cheeky kill with this neutral sig. This neutral sig is too powerful. You can fight me on it. Look at his light charge. Like, bam, and he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, we did get a pretty good lead. Oh, May saved me by accident. <laughs> See what I mean? Barraza was pretty straightforward. Just canceling me doesn't let me do anything against um, our Buckaroo here. We actually lost against these guys twice. Right now, if I could have capitalized on this, it would have been amazing. Um, it already was. I think the, the anniversary livestream was today. Um, if I could have capitalized this, because, okay, um, we KO'd um, Baraza. I got the, the KO. And right now, uh, Neutralite. Right now, I think I tried to reverse um, Side Sig as a reaction. But then it came out as a dodge to the other side. And recovery? No, I did the recovery didn't come come out. So that's kind of sad because that would have put us in a very substantial lead right here. Okay. 
Okay. Nice, neutral sync by me. How did we lose this? They might be doing an event for it, but I'm not sure. I didn't get time to watch the, the, the live stream. I just saw it in my thing. I just saw it in my... Yeah, hey, you should be watching this. Um, right now, it's one thing that everyone should practice is that May was... Um, was knocked out. I could have gone around, turn around and punish this um, Miss Neutralite Barbaraza, but I was like, Jazz, no, I need to not take any damage. So I just avoided. That recovery was pretty good, though. No, we actually lost this somehow. Again, I think we were getting panicky with the, the matches. How did we lose this? Okay. I see. Um, I got downlighted into to Ser. So it's okay. I would have been dead. And May got neutral sigged out of the sideline into downlight. Huh. Okay. And we somehow lost this. I think this was my mistake. I think I remember this being my mistake. Mail actually lost the, the game against Lucian, and I was the one that lost this clutch against them. Okay, that lead literally vanished in less than half a second. So now we're just trying to, to find... Ooh, that was a pretty alley up by May. Three piece, okay. Right now, I, I was very panicky. So I just trying to, to stick by May. Yeah, May got knocked out with this downlight, um, Ser. Pretty soon too, though. It's the power to, of Spear, actually. Just grabs and there we go. Okay, I was pretty healthy. This... What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> I don't remember this at all. What is this cider? You can see that I'm confused. I don't know what to do with that information. Like, I sighed her. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this thing. Yeah, May actually told me I should not react to ground pounds after this. Because I was back, but then I was like, dude, just ground pounding. I just fast fell until it hit me. Oh, man. Anyways, let us let you let me just watch that again. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh man, it's so sad. I got ground pounded and then ground pounded again. It's my nightmare scenario. Ah, yeah, such a rookie mistake. I should not have done that. It happens though. We actually did we win this? I don't remember. No, because we went to play with P later. So yeah, we lost again now on Mammoth. I think that kind of destabilized me. That death was pretty shameful. It was basically ours. <clears throat> okay, but let's see how the, the train kept the, the, the rail, man. Baraza was pretty good. Baraza literally was, in my opinion, carrying the the Wushang. Wushang was decent, but Baraza was so good. Good damage. Jesus Christ, just axe noises everywhere. That right there. Axe is, is powerful because of that. Ground Pound, after they, they removed the falling from the, the Ground Pound, Axe Ground Pound is so good at covering the entire lip.
Okay. Just trying to... I was just trying to fish for a, for a KO at this point. Just get out of here, please. Yeah, maybe I, I overextended a little bit. Okay, three piece to, to finish it off. But we're very damaged. We did get the cleanup, though. Oh, wow. That's just kind of funny. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Because May got knocked. At, at first, I was trying to punish uh, Mushang for the miss. Which was a little overzealous by me because I actually hit May. And then I was trying to punish uh, Wushang's miss again, and May for some reason was there. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just funny. Good axe damage. Um, she went for the recovery. She should have gone for the down air, maybe. Down air into into neutral sig. Baraza just clean up May, and now we're not in the lead anymore. Just keep my ground. Don't want to lose uh, my my stock of buffer here. Okay, good damage on Wushang. <coughs> oh, that was an amazing punish by Baraza. May couldn't do anything. Jesus Christ, it's so much damage. It builds up so fast. Okay, Wushang is gone? No, Wushang is not done. Wushang is done. Yeah, we just got outplayed. There's nothing much to tell other than we just got outplayed. Baraza played a lot better than us recovery ko and then the final read just to be the the icing on the cupcake <laughs> i just panic dodged and wushang read it and then main is, a, is in a worst scenario against clutching stuff wait what oh brass is just gone i guess Yeah, this is a very hard thing to just pull out of nowhere. I don't remember us getting too old, though. I thought we took at least one game from these guys. It must be the game I just blocked mentally that, that fast fall into the ground fall. Just so I could not suffer from, from it anymore. Ooh. And the weapon toss to be the icing on the cake. Oh, the bonk, though. <laughs> <coughs> and that's how we got, like, knocked out. First was um, Selena Lazuli, and then this Barraza just gave us our ass in a platter, too. And there was that mistake, that mistake right there. My fast fall into the ground pound was probably what cost it. Because if I had won that match, which was pretty straightforward, uh, it would have been 1-1. We could have had another chance. Hmm. I probably would have changed into Nai. Anyways, now that we're done with all that, I'm actually probably gonna post this on YouTube. So if you wanna see, watch it later, Seahawks, I'm gonna make sure that's on the, the thing. Um, and now I'm gonna play with May because she's around.